Look at that. Perfect. Perfect landing. Absolutely flaw. I'm... We're caught on the tree. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the showcase episode of Scrap Mechanic. I'm your host Rob and on today's episode we're going to be taking a look at a vehicle that I made myself personally and it's this lift right here. This really tall object that's all the way up there. Yeah, I made that and it's super helpful if you're trying to get to places that you've accidentally fallen off of. So you may be asking yourself, wait, how do I get up there right now? What the hell? That's not going to be of any help to me. I'm way down here. It's way up there. How do I get up there? Well, I thought about that because I fell off while I was making it and I decided... I'd put these buttons down here, so you can actually activate them when you're all the way down here. Now this first button right here, number one, controls your up and down movement, and the second button here, number two, controls your outriggers. Super helpful if you're extended fully and you're trying to maneuver, because they will literally save you from falling over, having to get out of the vehicle, put it on the lift, and then, you know, get back on the vehicle and continue what you're doing. So we're, what we're going to do here is we're just going to hop on the vehicle. We're going to extend it, we're going to extend the outriggers, and we're going to do a little drive around just to show you how useful this really can be. And we're probably going to get stuck. Ooh. Alright, alright, alright. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright. Okay. Now, you pretty much got to try to go really slow, otherwise you're going to do what's happening right now. And all right, and we're back. I did forget to mention right away that uh, you have full control of both buttons, so both actions of the vehicle, from the driver's seat. That's why I put the buttons down at the bottom. You know, I figured you're up here, you can just hop in the driver's seat, you can control the vehicle. While you're down there, if you fall off, you know, you can hit the buttons and bring it back down to save your ass. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to not extend it and drive around. That way I can actually get down into this canyon without tipping. And we're just going to take a ride down here and slow as a rabbit. Well, so is a turtle. So if you've never actually driven a lift, um, they can be super helpful. Uh, if you're not afraid of heights, they're great. I love them. I've used them a lot. Uh, this is pretty similar to how an actual lift behaves, and it's very tippy. Uh, you don't want to go too fast. If you're gutsy, uh, you can turn up the speed on the motor on this one all the way. Can't do that in real life. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to extend this all the way. So right here, let's let's say I was trying to work on this cliff right here. Man, that's great. Put a bearing on it. All right, so we're back up top. We're going to put a tire on the cliff, and then we're going to put a bearing on it. Just like, man, I'm working on this cliff. Check that out. I did that. Put some, put some tires on there. Not sure why you'd ever do this, but there you go. You got some tires, you know, you're... That's pretty cool, you can walk on this. Alright, so you're walking on the tires, you got over to your thing. You're gonna raise yourself up and fall all the way down. Alright, so we've moved over here really quick so I can show you some of the other features of the vehicle. You can see I spawned a couple of them. So right here we got the uh, main control unit. This controls the bearings for the upright movement. Uh, someone posted in the comment on the vehicle page, How do I change the height that it goes to? Well, that's pretty simple. If you go in here, you can see that your first bearing is set to 60 and then 2 through 8 are set to 120, and your last one, number 9, is also set to 60. So what you would do is just reduce the height, well, reduce the angle of these, let's say I reduce to these all to 90, I'm not actually going to do that because it would take too long, but see, I just half it, always half, that, that keeps your lift nice and stable. If you don't half it, you're going to get weird results, and all of a sudden you'll be going up, and then you won't be going up because it'll be going at a weird angle because nothing will be all the same, and, well, you get, you get the idea, just, Divide by two, or you'll get some silly results. Might also be fun to get silly results, so uh, you can try it if you want. Um, so if I extend it here, without putting it on the lift, I can gain easy access to the engine. I think I already turned it up. Yeah, I already turned it up. So you can change the speed of the engine. And on the other side, you have the bearing control for the outriggers. You can do whatever you want with it. I have them all set at 90. You can change them to whatever you want, but I'm sure at one point it will cause you problems. Alright, so we're just going to bring this back down here. And now that we're at full speed, we're going to do some donuts. Yeah, show you that this thing can really move. Yeah, look at this. Check that out. Bam! Going fast. And we're done. Alright, and we're back upright, so I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, that's about all I can really explain on this video. For this lift, it's pretty simple. It's great if you got to get somewhere high and you accidentally fell off. 
Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to support your YouTube community. And I will be showcasing more in the future, hopefully, if I decide to make any more weird vehicles. I am working on a better lift, but I've been really sidetracked. So let me know if you guys want to see it. Anyways, that was Rob. This is Total Reset. You guys have a great day.